Elizabeth Blackburn is an Australian American who was born on the 26th of November 1948. As a young girl, she was very curious about everything alive and she would even pick up lethally dangerous animals and sing to them. Her love of all things living was her main reason for becoming a scientist. She earned a Bachelor of Science and Master of Science from the University of Melbourne and in 1975 she received her PhD from the University of Cambridge. In 2009, she won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, along with Carl Grandeger and Jack Substance. She won her Nobel Prize for her discovery of how chromosomes are protected by telomeres and the enzyme telomerase. She studied the chromosomes in a plant called pond scum, and she discovered that the telomeres on the end of the chromosomes of the pond scum did not wear down, meaning the cells never got old or died. Elizabeth wanted to know more about these telomeres and why they didn't get shorter. So she and her student, Carol Greeter, worked together to find out more. They discovered a previously unheard of enzyme that could make telomeres longer, and they named it telomerase. When they removed the telomerase from the pond scum, the telomeres got shorter and the pond scum died. As humans age, their telomeres do shorten, and that shortening is what ages us. The overshortening is what gives us wrinkles and gray hair. It also increases some of the risks of getting many, many diseases that lots of us die from. Increasing the amount of telomerase in humans, however, would not allow us to live forever, as unfortunately, not only does it decrease the risk of some diseases, it also increases the risks of some. Once Elizabeth confirmed that increasing the amount of telomerase in humans wasn't going to increase our lifespan, her next question was, do we have control of, of our telomeres length? This was when she met Dr. Alyssa Appel. Alyssa wanted to know what happens to telomeres in people who are chronically stressed. This changed Elizabeth's view of telomeres, and instead of seeing them as genes and chromosomes, she saw them as the lives of the people they were studying. They connected a group of caregiving mothers, and they decided to investigate what was the length of the telomeres compared to the time they had been caring for their children. After four years, they found the longer the mother had been in the caregiving situations, regardless of age, the shorter her telomeres were, and the more she perceived her situation as stressful, the lower her telomere is, and the shorter her telomeres. That's why Elizabeth Blackburn inspires us to do science.